I am Tatiana, I'm from Ukraine. I lived in Kyiv before arriving in Slovakia with two kids aged three and six. We were forced to flee our country just because on the 24th of February, oh my God, on the terrible day. So we woke up uh, and uh, under the cry, under the shouting of my husband, so the war. Uh, my husband and I were among those who couldn't accept that fact that there could be a full-scale invasion, especially in major cities, including Kyiv as the capital of Ukraine. So when we heard the bombing at 5 a.m., our first reaction was to grab our emergency bag, kids, and get into the car and go somewhere. We understood the only thing that we had to leave the capital as soon as possible. Only now, when six months passed, I can realize what feelings I had, what uh, emotions I experienced at that time, because at that time it was like total blank blackout so you know forced um, displacement is no doubt a huge trauma and uh, you feel despair you feel fear you feel loss loss of your close ones loved ones your home your homeland and uh, to live through that uh, you, you need a lot of efforts and a lot of time to live through that. But the new reality is that you are in a new country and you are with uh, um, two kids and you have to think about basic needs, so that is uh, uh, food, that is uh, shelter, where to stay, uh, just education, access to health care. And I just remember that the first week every single day i was uh, uh, crying so bitterly i mean that uh, tears were streaming down non-stop so without any words without anything so but uh, i was so blessed to get all what i needed and already after two weeks uh, after arrival i had a job my kids were enrolled in the school so in the kindergarten we got the access to health care so actually we had everything what we needed but yeah mental health suffered suffered a lot yeah at first there was like a wave of help for everyone so but now like everything is coming down so people like get used to that and uh, we see that a lot of uh, um, humanitarian organizations charitable organizations they like uh, step by step fade away from such a huge help and but but now people even need more this uh, physical help so practical support so especially those vulnerable groups as moms as elderly people children so what helped me and helps me so much uh, in restoring my health, uh, mental health is talking and sharing. And I wanted to highlight how vital it is to share uh, your feelings with someone who has lived through the same experience. So, and personally for me, uh, it's something like relaxing, coming down. When I talk to people, who have the same problems, who experience the same fleeing uh, from the war of Ukraine with kids, with no husbands. And only now, when I work in the project Ukraine for Ukraine, I realize that it is a peer-to-peer -peer support that really makes a difference, a huge difference in healing and in building new life in new communities. Trauma doesn't disappear. So we, we have to live through this grief. We have to um, transfer it into uh, other activities. So, but uh, without harm to our health, there is no health without mental health. So, and that is very true.